like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Gotta get my cake up, a lot of shit be going down. Gotta keep my head up. Looking in the mirror, all I see is the king. Walking in this bitch like I got six brains. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi and everybody else too. Everybody else too. So uh it's a lot going on. It is a lot going on. I'm gonna just throw all these subjects in here, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all just Decipher and break it down how you want and um, you know, you'll react to how you feel uh, So much so much. So you all kings and verse queens went down uh, a lot of things happened this weekend uh, Let's just start with Remy. Let's just start with Remy I feel like I done recapped every single battle off the card already. I told you how I felt etc. etc. Remy Ma drops Miss Hustle versus Shuni Right after Kings versus Queens, like literally right after while people are complaining, people are giving their thoughts or whatever the case may be, the battle drops. What this tells me is that she's chose her position in this in this already. Petty for petty. She's from the Bronx. I found out, I talked to her, we went to the same church. Like we, I, I know where Remy's from, you know what I'm saying? Like I know how they give it up over there. The Bronx is not a game. The Bronx is probably one of the... The worst third world countries in America. If you make it from the Bronx, you can make it any freaking where. I promise you, you could probably jump and stop a train from coming like Superman. Look at look at Remy. Look what she's made it to. But anyway, um, so she drops Miss Hustle versus Shuni, and it was a smart play because Miss Hustle and Tay Rock just battled. So to get some more of that wave and some more of that you know, that energy, the energy, she drops it. And it does 100,000. She says 100,000 in less than 24 hours. Give it up for the ladies. Babs voice. Miss Hustle versus Shuni the Rapper. Available to watch on Chrome 23 YouTube page. Run them numbers up. Did 100,000 in a day. She's, our channel's um, 68, going towards 70,000 subscribers. People are subscribing to Chrome 23. Shuni just had a great battle versus Shotgun Shug. Uh, Miss Hustle had a battle versus Rock, where she did her thing too. I watched it again last night. And she. I definitely see why people are calling that battle both ways. I could see why people are giving Miss Hustle the first round, and there are some people that are giving him the third too. I feel like Rock got the second, but it is a fire ass battle. Uh, you can call it how you call it. I'm not here to argue with you. Um, but respect to Miss Hustle and everything that she does. So she drops this battle, and it lets her know her position in the war. Like, nah, y'all motherfuckers want to be petty. I want to do this. Y'all want to do that. Bam! Take this. I'm dropping 100,000. And the thing is, Remy Ma is doing this shit on YouTube, so she's playing it the way she needs to play it. And she does not only have that, she has Easy the Block Captain. Easily the hottest subject in battle rap. And I'm going to talk about Easy the Block Captain. I'm going to talk about uh, Tay Rock's 50 battles. And finally, I'm going to talk about the Sue Surf Manager situation. I'm going to put all of this together in one, so just stick with me. Let me go. So, Easy the Block Captain, clearly the uh, hottest subject in battle rap. I hear people talking about, when y'all gonna stop talking about Easy? When something else is hot to talk about. We talk about you niggas, nobody cares. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like A lot of y'all we talk about, we try to talk about y'all, we try to pipe y'all and nobody really give a fuck about what the shit y'all got going on because y'all niggas ain't hot right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of you niggas is in the vault, and you want us to talk about it, and recap, and push, and push, and push, and push. I don't get paid by these niggas. I'll recap the battles, but they don't even want us to recap. I told y'all, they do not, if it was up to them, they wouldn't even want us to recap your battles. If we use the footage, they're going to flag our channel. So they don't even want us to, I'll be honest with you. Your employers, your boss, your boss got a boss, and your workers, my man. I don't know what you want me to do. I can't recap all these battles, but we can't use footage. We can't do anything with them. If we put this shit in there, they're going to take it down. They want you niggas stuck inside the vault. That's another story. So, uh, I tweeted, somehow easy to block Captain 1 today. Don't at me. F your reply. I don't even care what your reply is. I just felt like somehow on Sunday he still won. I'm going to tell you why. So, he says, I feel like I did too. He added, he, re he retweeted and said he felt like he did too. The reason why is because out of all of these performances that happened, 
Respect to everyone involved. It is what it is. Nobody had a performance better than he had versus Hitman, and they mentioned him in damn near every single battle. That means you're still winning even when you're not on the platform. He is not an afterthought over there yet, and they did not take losing him lightly or lo the potential of losing. If you think that they was cool with losing a star or losing one of the best people, he was clearing everybody over there. The nigga went over there, won 12 battles in a row and left. Now we talking about stars? We talking about stars? Y'all ain't got a lot of people over there that's doing that. Y'all got some niggas that's losing battles. Y'all got some niggas that lose a lot. But we just keep, you keep seeing them over and over and over again. But these niggas ain't beating the names that's in front of them. You put Arsenal in front of most of them, they ain't not gonna beat them. You put DNA in front of damn near all of them, they ain't not gonna beat them. You put them in front of uh, K Shine, and I'm not talking about Easy because he will. But you put them in front of these guys, they are not beating them. Y'all put Easy against the top level competition and you won every single one of them. Y'all can say what you want about a chess battle. You can say he lost to Danny, but the votes is 3,000 to 1,000 on the app. I'm just saying, but uh, he, he, he left the farm and now he's doing his own thing and uh, he said he felt like he did too, right? So uh, he goes on and makes a strong statement and says, none of these people better than me. I mean, nobody, nobody exempt to nobody. And I'm gonna show y'all soon. And at this point, we, who are we to not believe that? Who are we not to believe that? I just seen a pay-per-view performance that I paid for with not a single performance on there was better than his. I'm sorry, it, and this is, they don't like the fact that we're gonna say it. See, battle rappers don't mind people in their face saying I'm gonna kill you, saying I'm gonna murder your kids, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stab you, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do everything in the world to you. Nothing hurts battle rappers than the opinions of bloggers. I don't care what they, I done seen a lot. Niggas will call my phone, like after these events, bro, I be putting my phone on do not disturb. Like when <laughs> I put my phone on do not disturb because my phone gonna ring. Some rapper that either got lost or got smoked or whatever the case may be is gonna be on my line trying to change the narrative. But I tell you what, I never waver. It doesn't matter who it is. How I feel about your battle is how I feel. How you feel I should feel is none of my business. So I, when I get calls and texts, I just let it go. I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not changing. So, um, so he's saying he's better than everybody. And not too many people are doing anything to prove him wrong right now. And trust me, I know where your old stance is in this. They looking at it like he was under a contract, you know what I'm saying? And they got, they're going to have their own dispute and their own issue about it. As a business owner, what I want to see Somebody that works for me just say, fuck it, I'm out of here, I'm going over there, y'all niggas ain't gonna blah, 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 play for me, I'm out. No. But at the same time, I understand why. Like, I'm not mad at either side. I'm not mad at URL for doing the shit that they doing. And I ain't mad at Easy the Black Captain for leaving. Because I would have been out too. Look, if this ain't the opportunity for me that could present me and get me where I need to be, I'm gone. Now, URL could be like, nigga, that's not our business. We signed you to battle rap. All the extra shit that you got going on is just that. They can feel that way. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, every action has reaction and reaction and reaction and reaction. He's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Pshoom. And for the season, which is right now, he's winning. You know what I'm saying? He battled Hitman Holler. There's nobody that's going to get a battle bigger than Holler on URL for like the foreseeable future. Who's, gonna, who's getting a battle bigger than that right now? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what battle is bigger. But if there is one, we'll see. Um, I did see the chatter about Sue Surf. Um, shout out to Sue Surf and everything that he's got going on. But before I talk about Sue Surf, I want to talk about what Yoshi said. And Yoshi said I made a very, very, very bold and big statement, and I totally agree with her. And I know sometimes Yoshi, you know what I'm saying, people will look at her whether she's trolling or thotting or whatever the case may be. But I do respect her outward stance and some of the things that she says. She said, stop booking people who friends or who fucked, and maybe you will get a competitive Kings vs. Queens. But at this point, it seems like all oh, y'all done slept together. So how are we going to get a competitive kid? They will have to go get some of the flip-top leagues from the Philippines or go get Oxymoron or somebody from out the country to, to try to get some. Because it seems like all oh, y'all are sleeping together. This shit is crazy. Every single battle we find, this person slept with this person and he didn't get this. And, and she said, I don't throw up signs, gang signs. I don't got no gag. I throw up gang signs. Bro, this shit is crazy. I'm like, why am I finding out all of this at the battle rap event? So shout out to Yoshi for that. Now, Sue Surf. Shout out to Sue Surf and everything that he's got going on. I did 
uh, you know what I'm saying, when Surf was out, I did speak to him and, um, you know, we, we spoke about some things because uh, it was in correspondence to when he first was allegedly arrested, but he still wasn't arrested at the time and the cops were still looking for him and um, he understood the perspective and he told me specifically, you know, when things happen, you could talk about, like, talk about him, you know what I'm saying? I want you to talk about him, but he didn't want his name to be preceded or to be looked at as, you know what I'm saying, somebody who's, like, out here just trying to be a reckless villain. And uh, I understood his perspective. He had told me, you know, he had moved to Atlanta, things like that. He was trying to change his life. But, you know, sometimes you, we, we, it's a cycle, you know what I'm saying, especially in the gang culture and gang nature and things like that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, they could get removed from their neighborhood or removed from where they're from, but then, you know, it is what it is. It's a sad situation. I hate seeing Surf in this situation. But what I will say is uh, it's been a lot of chatter. It's been a lot of chatter. Uh, his manager or ex-manager, uh, Qua, or Qua Mania, or Qua Bellamy, was uh, definitely in the spotlight. Nunu Nels was wilding on him um, on Twitter and on the live stream. Uh, you know, she was saying that he ain't sending them nothing, he ain't doing nothing for him, and it came out everywhere. But uh, one of his peoples, right, uh, a dude named Bet Life Sports, his name is Alex, right, he follows me on um, Twitter, I follow him too, he puts out good sports parlays and shit like that. I remember Surf running with him that was being his mans, and dude was cool with Surf's moms and all of that, and I seen some of the tweets where she retweeted, uh, oh boy, so, I mean, his word has probably got a little stain to it. And he says this, right? Uh, when, when they were calling out Surf's manager for not putting no money on his books or not sending him no packages or not, nigga, I don't know what you was doing, nigga, but for some reason your name ain't a good motherfucking light because I see this shit going on everywhere, Qua. What is going on, Qua? Where's the money, Qua? Do we have to start, do I have to contact Surf Mama myself or do us as bloggers and fans have to contact her and say, yo, we could get some merchandise out for this nigga, free to wave shirts, give them to his mom and let her put some money on this nigga books. There should be constant money generated for Sue Surf. There should be. And I know that was your man because he used to tell me, I used to be together every day, the nigga was on the phone with you when the motherfuckers came to the door. He was on the phone with you. You were supposed to be, or are supposed to be, the one that was holding down the business while he's gone. Where it is, this nigga ain't heard from you since December. December, my nigga, it is fucking March. It's about to be, it's spring. Today's spring? Today's spring. Today's spring, my nigga. Today is spring. What the fuck do you got going on? So he says, meanwhile, uh, the, uh, the Qua, Qua Bellamy, Qua is his name, posts a picture of himself at the motherfucking Lakers game. Nigga, you at the Lakers game? Oh, you at the Lakers game. Nigga, the Lakers ain't winning no motherfucking championship this year. Nigga, you could have sent that money to surf, nigga. You do not have to be at no goddamn Lakers game seeing Austin Reeves score 30 points, nigga. You could have sent that fucking money to surf. I don't know what you got going on. And the reason why it's picking up a little bit because the tweets that he tweeted are now deleted. He deleted the tweets of him at the Lakers game. And nigga, you close too. I can see by the seats. You ain't in fucking row 45B in the nosebleeds, nigga. You're damn near on the court. So I don't know. You better tighten up with this surf shit because you know what kind of shit this is. And then he goes on to say, you a capper, son. Not the kind that picks games and bets together. The kind that uses people for their name so you can profit. But when it's time for you to help your brother, where the fuck you at? No excuses. Then you go at my dog Fetty for speaking up on people not supporting Surf. Uh, like I said, this is a nasty situation. Uh, you, you, you. This is the reason why. So see, me personally, I don't do the street shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I would defend myself at all purposes. My house, my kids, my family, shit like that. But that whole being in the street and all of that shit is dead. That's why I don't do that. Because what happens is. I know I don't want to go. I don't want to be in jail. I don't want to sit up in no motherfucking county. I don't want to do that. I don't have to rely on people. I don't want to do any of that shit. Let's just be clear. But this is the reason why. Like, you should just let that shit go, bro, because it's not worth it. But, come on, dog. It shouldn't be coming down to this quiet. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But y'all need to let that shit go, because when shit like this happens, you see when shit like this happens? <laughs> You know, you're supposed to be there for your man, and they're saying you ain't wrote the nigga since December. You're saying you ain't checking on his mom. They say you ain't checking on his daughter. If you was doing all of that, somebody would be saying something about it. So you need to get this shit together because it looks crazy out here right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. You're supposed to be served, man. They say he was on the phone with you. Just leave it there, and I'm going to move out the way.
gang. I'm stony when I send it up, clear like I send it up. My soul, oh my God, I am him. Every day I wake up, gotta get my cake up. A lot of shit be going down, gotta keep my head up. Looking in the mirror, all I see is the king. Walking in this bitch like I got six ways.